How good was that? We were really rusty. Remember we used to play every day? Many spin-offs have been spawned from the 90 Day Fiancé franchise, but few of them are as iconic and memorable as Darcy and Stacy. Of course, reality shows focused on siblings or families are nothing new. However, Darcy and Stacy Sylvia's lifestyle, endearing personalities, and unrelenting search of love is what sets them apart from anyone else. Jealousy, infidelity, a couple of misfortunes, and a lot of dramas. That's only a small part of the many things the Sylvia twins have in store to entertain you with. Keep with us to discover these facts you didn't know about Darcy and Stacy. Do you want to win any of these items on your screen? If so, make sure to watch the whole video, leave a like, and comment a hidden message. And without being said, let's get ready to the video. When TLC decided Darcy and Stacy Silva would have their own show, it was for a good reason. The twins have already appeared in various shows of the 90 Day Fiancé franchise, and it was pretty obvious for the network that viewers wanted to see more of them. Since its premiere in late 2020, Darcy and Stacy has already achieved a huge rating success. At least 2.1 million people tuned in to watch the show's first episode, followed by 1.9 million for the second episode. The third episode attracted an even bigger audience, watched by 2.2 million people, beating TLC's audience records and continuing with high rating points for the rest of the 10-episode season. By the end of the first season, it was revealed its audience was formed mostly of women between the ages of 25 and 54, and the average rating was 2.5 million viewers, becoming TLC's most watched Sunday night show and breaking other channels' rating records for long running series. Although Darcy and Stacy is still a somewhat new show, its thriving rating numbers are most likely the reason TLC already has plans to renew it. Things between Darcy and Tom Brooks were messy to say the least. The pair met in person for the first time after being in a long distance relationship for months, but what followed was a series of happenings which ended up breaking Darcy's heart. The tumultuous a story between Darcy and her now British ex-boyfriend was well documented in the Darcy and Stacy prequel show 90 Day Fiancé before the 90 days. It was pretty obvious for the audience how in love she was with him. However, Tom's coldness and apparent infidelity were a thorn in the side for their relationship. Going their separate ways turned out well for them, fortunately. In a 90 Day Fiancé Diaries appearance in late 2020, Tom admitted he found himself in a better place emotionally after the breakup. In his words, he felt he lost a dead weight in Darcy as he perceived their relationship didn't have a future from the start. The professional and romantic aspect of Tom's life didn't make a good turn, though. Due to the COVID-19 pandemic, his business went downhill and apparently also ruined his chances of finding love again. He, however, seemed to be content with the way his life is now, despite the difficulties. Regardless of her job as a TV personality, Stacy is noticeably careful when it comes to showing too much on TV about her teen sons Parker and Matteo, and by addition, her children's father is not a subject she talks about often. Nonetheless, it's hard to hide secrets when you're a public figure. Die-hard fans of the Silver Twins have found out Goran Vashich is the real name of Stacy's ex-husband, and it seems he's very accomplished on his own. The love story between them started in the late 1990s when Stacy met him in Houston when he came from Serbia to play in a professional soccer team. Despite the obvious language and cultural differences between them, Stacy and Goran ended up marrying and having two kids, though the reason their relationship ended is unknown. Goran is now a professional soccer coach and his work is well appreciated. He was even inducted into the Connecticut Soccer Hall of Fame in 2020. Goran is nowadays married to a woman named Christine Zlobitschke, but it's unknown if they have kids together. Though Stacy and Goran's relationship ended, it seemed a good love story while it lasted. Most importantly, it is also obvious her liking for foreign men started long before appearing on TV. Compared to her twin Darcy's tumultuous love life, it seemed that Stacy Silva was the lucky one in the love department. Albeit, it's fair to say, people made wrong assumptions in her case as well. At first, nothing seemed out of place with a longtime Albanian boyfriend, Florian Sukai. That is, until in 2019, Stacy discovered he had been unfaithful to her with a model named Shanti Zora. One of the most unfortunate details about the alleged infidelity is that Stacy was the one who introduced Shanti to Florian. What's even worse, shortly before Stacy knew she was the woman he had been cheating on her with, Shanti was the Silva's twin confidant when the couple experienced several problems. Fast forward to 2020, Stacy forgave Florian for his infidelity and married him, but other hurtful facts were uncovered later. Even though Florian had told Stacy he'd only kissed the other woman, this was vehemently denied by Shanti, who talked with Stacy in a Darcy and Stacy episode and assured her that the relationship with Florian had been very intimate and mutual. Who's lying and who's telling the truth? That's something only time will tell. But for now, it seems it is not an easy situation for Stacy. The main attractive point of Darcy and Stacy as a show is the considerable level of amusement and drama it brings its audience. Though besides that, it has also given the Silver Twins the opportunity to gain quick and wide fame in the entertainment industry, something they had been trying to do long before appearing in 90 Day Fiancé. While it's unknown how much money Darcy and Stacey Silva earn with the show, fame is truly the most profitable thing that they have got out of it. It even allowed them to promote their businesses, including their brand House of Eleven. Though it's unclear when exactly the brand was founded, it was apparently well established long before the sisters became reality stars, specialized in sporty and comfortable clothes. House of Eleven has been worn by big names in the entertainment industry, such as Demi 
Demi Lovato and Jessica Alba. In an interview with Yahoo Sports, Darcy affirmed that the brand was considered a high-end tier brand and was loved by celebrities. Even if House of Eleven existed long before the Silver Twins became internationally known, it's obvious that the free publicity the sisters give it in the show has been quite positive for the business. It's already a well-known fact that Stacey and Darcy Silva's younger brother Michael passed away from cancer in 1998. At the time of his death, Michael was only 27 years old, was studying to become a police officer, and was engaged. Though he sadly couldn't win his long battle with Ewing sarcoma, his life greatly inspired his sisters in many ways. The Silva twins always post things in his memory on the social media accounts, in addition to visiting his grave and sharing his story on 90 Day Fiancé. In 2019, the sisters also released a song entitled Always In My Heart in his memory, though the song's official YouTube video was heavily criticized for including several pictures of the Silva twins and not of their brother, which was something considered disrespectful by many. Their fashion brand House of Eleven was also named in memory of Michael, as the sisters considered the number 11 as representative of him. He was born on the 11th of May and died on the 11th of July, so that's where the number 11 comes, like 1111 on the clock, manifesting your power and owning the things that you do, told Darcy to Channel 24. Confidence is one of the most outstanding characteristics about the Silver Twins. In Stacy's case, however, the path to become a woman with enviable self-esteem has taken effort over a long time. The principal hindrance to Stacy's self-confidence is her vitiligo, a condition that affects the pigmentation of the skin. Following Stacy's declarations during an episode of Darcy and Stacy, she was first diagnosed with the disease when she was a child, and clear patches started appearing on her skin, including her face. Specifically, she affirms one of these aforementioned patches in a triangle shape appeared over her eyebrow, and gained her the cruel nickname of the Bermuda Triangle in school. While Darcy's incredible support as a bully fighter helped her sister, Stacy has also pointed out that all the women of her family have inspired her to accept her physical flaws. Working really hard in becoming self-confident really turned out well for Stacy, even leading her to appear barefaced in makeup tutorials, proudly showing her condition. I forget that I have vitiligo, but it's made me who I am. It's made me a stronger woman, and I embrace it now, she told ET Online. Is Darcy Silva's love life improving for the better? That's what seemed to be happening during Darcy and Stacy's first season, as a boyfriend turned fiancé Georgie Rousseff proposed to her, and without hesitation, she said yes. Things were seemingly going really well for the couple. However, nothing escapes the watchful and critical eyes of fans, not even rings. Apparently, the engagement ring her Bulgarian fiancé gave her was bought by herself, as the piece of jewelry is very similar to one listed on her fashion brand House of Eleven website as promised ring. The design of the jewelry piece is described on the online shop as in inspired by the twins' own engagement rings, though that unfortunately raises more questions about the ring Georgie gave her. The possibility of Darcy buying her engagement ring from her own shop awakens several negative comments, as viewers of the show describe the stunt as cheap and judge the authenticity of the compromise and Georgie's real intentions. Is this Darcy's strategy to promote her own brand? That's unknown for now, though unfortunately, people might not get the answer they search for, as Darcy and Georgie apparently broke up not long after the series' first season ended. While it's unknown when exactly Stacy and Darcy grew interested in becoming producers, the twins always had a strong interest in doing great things for the entertainment world. That same motivation is what led Darcy to attend the New York-based Lee Strasberg Theater and Film Institute, where she graduated with an acting degree. Thus, it's obvious that she knows a thing or two about the field. Darcy and Stacy started their own production company, Eleventh Entertainment, with their father Mike Silva. Through the company, they produced the film entitled White Tea in 2013, which was followed by the movie Soul Ties in 2015. Eleventh Entertainment also allowed the twins to try their luck in music. Not only can they be heard in the original soundtrack of White Tea, but they also released the song Lock Your Number, but after which the company has stayed inactive. While the Silver Sisters didn't have much luck in their facet as producers, they weren't deterred by misfortune and kept trying to find their place doing what they love. That being said, resilience is also something the Silver Twins apply in their dating life, and while it's obvious that's one of the main reasons they're so strongly criticized, it's also undeniable that's what has helped them to become very memorable reality personalities and ultimately achieve their goals. Thank you for spending some time with us. Make sure to like and subscribe so you never miss another video. We also handpick these videos which we recommend you watch next. You can talk to us on all social medias or ask a question in the comments below. Thank you for being with us and we'll see you back tomorrow.